Hey everybody, Rich here with more Linux crap. This time, Lubuntu 11.04. If you want to check out Lubuntu, it's at lubuntu.net. And there's a big old download link on the right, so go check that out if you want. I kind of like it better in Peppermint, to be honest. This is one sweet looking interface, very streamlined. I like it, it's really cool. Anyway, this video is not about Lubuntu, it's about the clock. Now, the clock is not exactly the easiest thing to set. Actually, correction. It is easy to set, but it's not exactly easy to modify into how you want it to look. This is more or less universally true across just about any Linux GUI you could find. Now, the default clock in this environment, in the Lubuntu environment, is 24 hour time and it does not show the date. You can hover over it and it will show the date but if you want it to show it without hovering over it if you right click and go to digital clock settings it shows these format codes which to new Linux users completely confuses the crap out of you and very understandably so because how are you supposed to make heads or tails of this? Now what it tells you is that the format codes are at MAN3 STRF time. Okay, now the last I knew, man is for manual, and that's something that you execute from a terminal prompt. Okay, so assuming that is true, go to um, launch terminal, and then do what it says, man3 strf time. No manual entry. Oh, bugger. Hmm. Well, let's try it without the three. Man, S T R F T I M E. Double bugger. Nope, we are out of luck there. So, what are we going to do? How do we get those codes? Fortunately, you can go to the php.net website to get them. And I will show you where it is. And it's definitely something you should bookmark <laughs> because it's not like you can memorize this crap. So, launch your browser of choice. I happen to be using Chromium and go to php.net slash s-t-r-f-t-i-m-e when you go there the address will change to your localization in my case us.php.net but you always type in www.php.net slash whatever command you're looking for or just you, you don't even need the www you can do php.net slash the command anyway so here it is and you get this so oh so awesome chart that tells you every single format code Yay! All right, here's something we can work with. So now we can change this to something which is more readable, because maybe you like 12 hour time instead of 24 hour, or maybe you want it to show the date. Now, the first thing I'm going to show is the cheap way out. This one you can memorize, this one's easy. Um, instead of using, I'll go right click digital clock settings, instead of uh, capital R, percent capital R, just do lowercase r and notice how it changes to uh, 12 hour, hour, minute, second, anti-meridian, post-meridian. So if you want the one that is really easy to remember, percent, lowercase r, and it does have to be lowercase, but if you want to customize it, well, we have to put in a bunch of format codes. It's not really that hard once you get used to it. Now, as I'm doing this, I can click outside the field and it will show what yeah, what the output will be. Since there's nothing in here, and uh, I just erased it and went to the next field, it's obviously blank. So the first thing, I'm going to do month, day, year, because I'm an American and I do dates wrong, and then I'm going to do hour, 12-hour, uh, hour, minute, and anti-meridian, post-meridian. So it means AM, PM. So that's what I'm going to do. So the first thing I need is the month. In this chart, you have day, week, month, year and time. So we'll start with um, month. And let's see, I need, and it shows an example on the right side here. So I want this one, which is two digit representation of the month, which is percent %m, percent %m, and the slash. And the reason I'm putting a slash, that is my separator. Now if I click outside of this, it shows an 05. That's correct. It is May at the time I record this video. The next thing I need is the day. So I'll find the one I want, which is this one, 
two-digit day of the month with leading zeros, percent lowercase d. And by the way, before continuing, yes, the case of the letter does matter. All right, so percent d slash. Now that should be 0503 slash, which it is. And now I need the year. Scroll down to year, find the one that I want, which is this one. Four digit representation of the year, percent capital Y. Percent capital Y, space, dash, that's going to be my separator, space. Click outside, see if it reflects. It does, 5 3 2011. Now I need the 12 hour, hour. That's under time. Okay, so we have 00 through 23, that's 24 hour, I don't want that. 01 through 12, I do want that. Two digit representation of the hour in 12 hour format. Percent capital I. Okay, percent I colon. I'm using colon as my separator. Now I need the minute. That's right here, 00 through 59. Two digit representation of the minute. Percent capital M. And lastly, I'm not going to put the sec. I could put the seconds in if I want, but I don't want them. Um, I want a lowercase am or pm. You can do upper or lower. So that one, the lower one, is ironically a percent capital P. Percent capital P. Click outside. My clock is done. I click close. My clock is the way I want. I am now a happy Lubuntu user. <laughs> so anyway, when you want to modify the clock, you can either do it the real quick and dirty way, I'm going to quickly just cut this out, with a percent lowercase r, which does this. Or you can manually put in the codes, like I just did, and make it look like that. Now you also will see here backslash n for line break. Now what that means is, let's just say you have, for the sake of example, uh, let's see, I'm kinda new to Lubuntu here, so I'm not sure how to raise the panel in height. Oh, I think it's, oh wait, it's under panel settings, I think. Uh, the, okay, height, 24 pixels, here we go. So let's just say I raise this from 24 to 50 pixels. Click, click, click. Okay, 50 pixels. And then I want to have um, the date on the top and then a line break, which is this, and then the time on the bottom. So what I do is I get rid of this, and right in between this I'll put backslash n. And now you see they're right above each other. You ha that's, that's what it means by the line break thing. But I don't want it to look like this because it looks like ass. So I'll put back to 24, and I'll change this back to just a dash separator, and there we are. So that's how to do it in a nutshell, how to modify your clock, at least in Lubuntu and several other Linux environments. Remember, php.net slash strf time. Bye.